In this video, we'll be going over an ideal rocket equation, and we want to find the delta or change in velocity of a rocket. The variables we'll be using are m, subscript r, which is instantaneous mass of the rocket, or in other words, the mass of the rocket at a given point in time, u will represent the velocity of the rocket, and v will represent the velocity of the exhaust leaving the rocket. To complete this problem, we will have to remember from a previous video that the momentum of a system is conserved. Recall that momentum is mass times the velocity. So if the rocket is hurling out mass in the form of exhaust, then the rocket must be moving in the opposite direction to maintain a constant momentum of the system. Or in other words, keep the momentum of the system at zero. So we get that the instantaneous mass of the rocket times the delta or change in velocity of the rocket plus the delta or change in mass of the rocket Basically, the change in mass of the rocket is the amount of mass leaving the rocket in the form of exhaust, times the velocity of the exhaust must all equal zero. Subtracting the momentum of the exhaust from both sides of the equation, we get the displayed equation. Now in order to integrate this equation, we must get our delta of velocity of the rocket to one side and the mass of the rocket to the other side. We do this by using basic algebra. This will allow us to integrate both sides of the equation. We can use the constant rule on the velocity side of the equation and the reciprocal rule on the mass of the rocket side. We get that the change in velocity of the rocket is equal to the negative velocity of the exhaust times the natural logarithm of the mass of the rocket set to the limit of the mass of the rocket empty to the mass of the rocket full, so final state to initial state. Next we can use the rules of logarithms to further condense this formula to be the velocity of the rocket being equal to the velocity of the exhaust times the natural logarithm of the mass of the rocket full divided by the mass of the rocket empty. For your reference, I have plugged some random numbers into the equation. This problem, of course, is an ideal situation. It gets much more complicated very quickly if you start to introduce factors like aerodynamics or variable exhaust flow, to name a few. Here is the poll update. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.